So I just came out of Target and man, it is crazy raining outside. I got a couple packs for you guys, but man, everything's pretty much soaked. I'm wet, completely wet from head to toe. Just all around drenched. I, I mean, shit. Oh my goodness. Just look at all that. That's craziness. Oh my god. And it's still going. Oh. It's my fault for not bringing an umbrella, but damn it. it, it had, when I just came outside, it had just stopped. And I thought I could bait it, but no, it wants to come all down now that I'm halfway to the car. <sighs> I'll see you guys later. Uh, so yeah, from what you guys could see, that rain thing was kind of crazy, and uh, I just wanted to do a couple openings for you guys real quick, going to Target, and I saw it rainy, and I thought I could have beaten it, but turns out not. I had to change my shirt, because dude, I was drenched, I could, I just, man, that thing was crazy, but um, the important thing is that the cards are not damaged, you know, they're good, except for maybe uh, some of the spell rulers, again, they're not damaged or anything, just a box that's a little wet or whatever, but um, it's all good, you know, the packaging is all good. So, uh, it's great, you know, nothing to worry about. So let's see what we can pull. Hopefully we can get some great great pulls out of this thing. All right, so as you guys can see, we have six of these spell rulers, one spirit warriors, one dragons of legend unleashed, and our legendary collection, which looks sweet. All three god cards in the front looking all pretty and whatnot. Uh, game board edition, I'm not getting that. Buying another thing's way too expensive. But uh, yeah, I say we do the... The Legendary Collection one real quick first. Why not? There we go. Man, look at that thing. It looks sweet. Get rid of all that. And pop this thing open. Sweet. Oh, there's a little... There we go. That's fine. Man, look. I'll throw that over there. And, oh, right, here go the Egyptian God cards. Those are awesome. And we're going to pull this out. So sorry. Pull this out, and, uh, oh, here we go. Forgot all about this. You do get a mat with this thing. That is sweet, look at that. Dark, uh, Slay for the Sky Dragon, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, Obelisk the Tormentor, Black Skull Dragon, Exodia Necros and Magician of Black Chaos. That is sweet. Now we can't forget about the Winged Dragon of Ra. Of Ra, whatever. And then there's also a back part with uh, your boy Joey, Yugi, and Kaiba looking sweet. That is nice. I'll probably just put that thing right here for us, you know, for this opening. Why not? And uh, here goes the packs. Got a promo card here, and then boom. So again, like I said, we have our promo pack with the uh, God cards here. We got Dark Crisis, Metal Raiders, Invasion of Chaos, Spell Ruler. So we have another Spell Ruler. Pharaoh Servant, and Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Probably the most sought after one. So that's, these are all pretty freaking sweet. So the fact that we have hella Spell Rulers is awesome. So we're going to do the promo pack first. Man, you guys, I'm just glad the cards are fine, man. That rain, again, like I said, was crazy. Obelisk the Tormentor. Oh, yep, blue. Yeah, you can't play this one. It's still, like, it's, like, collectible-wise, which is always fun to pick up. Why not? Slifer the Sky Dragon. Also, boom. Yep, that is much. So cool. And then uh, the Wing Dragon of Ra. That is awesome. Just, I love the way the anime uh, artwork is, you know. Can't complain about the, the alternate artworks. Those are pretty sweet, too, but... Just something about the anime when they just... Oh. And anyway, we have our blue eyes, white dragon, dark magician, and our red eyes, black dragon. Well, B dragon, but we all know it stands for black. Red eyes, black giant. These things are iconic as a mug. Just oh, Joey, Yugi, Kaibo, just literally the best. So we're going to put these guys over here for right now. And um, you know what? I'm actually going to open up these spell rulers real quick just to have them ready to go bam
So yeah, guys, I had gotten a Target like you guys saw earlier, and it just started pouring. It was raining. It was crazy. And and the worst part is, I thought I was gonna make it because like when I came outside, it wasn't raining anymore. Or, like it was drizzling, but then no, nothing too too like crazy. And then as soon as I got halfway to the parking lot, I'm like, I am so screwed. I couldn't get to the car without getting anything wet. Everything was just, uh, I didn't have an umbrella. It was just crazy. I don't even remember what I went to Target for. I wanted to go buy soap or something. And then I saw these packs. I'm like, you know what? I can't just leave them here. That would be irresponsible of me. You know, that would be irresponsible on my part. So I just had to, you know, clean them out. Ah, there we go. Spell rulers, all out of its packaging. You know what? I'm also going to open up these two. Ah, much better. So I'm going to save these things for last, especially this one. This is going to be the last one I open. Mainly because of the Dragon of the Legend pack that's coming out soon. So that, that's pretty sweet that I was actually able to get one of these. That's awesome. So we're going to start off with Dark Crisis. Alright, so we're starting off with Keldo. Precious cards from beyond. DD Trainer, Rite of Silence, Skill Drain, very nice, a rare Skill Drain, now that is sweet, Valpon Archfiend, Cyber Raider, Ultra for Tribute, and then Guardian Elma, that is sweet, so we got a rare Skill Drain, that is awesome, again, nothing's guaranteed in these things, so, always fun to get, just, you know, the randomness of the packs. All right, we got a uh, Deep Sea Shark, Electric Lizard, the Bistro Butcher, Musician King, which is freaking hilarious because Witch of the Black Forest plus Lady of Faith makes him. <laughs> Always made me laugh as a kid. We got a Starboy, a rare Starboy. Very nice. This thing's effect is not bad. As long as this card remains face up on the field, increase the attack of all water monsters by, by 500 points and decrease the attack of all fire monsters by 400 points. This thing was as stable pretty much in any water deck that was coming out. Cyber Cybersaurus, Lava Moth, Armored Lizard, and Stimpak. Cool. So we have another rare. That's awesome. Always good to pull. And now we have uh, Invasion of Chaos. And then next is going to be our Spell Rulers. Alright, so we're starting off with Spirit of Pot of Greed. That is so freaking cool. I don't think I've ever seen this card in my life. While this card is in face-up attack position on, on the field, if a player activates Pot of Greed, they can draw one more card. That is awesome. I did not even know this thing existed. That's sweet. Giga Gaga Jiru, I think, right? Right? Hopefully I didn't mess his, up, mess his name up. Anti Archfiend Flower. Oh, sweet. We got a super rare. Nice. Dedication through light and darkness. Very sweet. Spell card quick effect. That is nice. And the artwork on this thing is freaking beautiful. I'm going to set you this up. And we have our rare Mataza the Zapper, right? I think. That is sweet. And oh snap, a Jama Delta Hurricane. Very nice. Soul Absorption, such a great freaking card. Granadora? Grandora? Something like that. And Chaos and that is sweet. But this pot of greed card was awesome though. I ain't going to lie. I think it was pretty sweet. And then we have our seven packs of spell rulers. Fingers crossed we get something great. And Hungry Burger. Honestly, I'm kind of hungry. I probably would eat this thing. Rising Air Current, Commencement Dance, Mechanical Snail. Ooh, Giant Germ. Very nice. Rare Giant Germ. Darkness Approaches, Spear Certain, Ceremonial Bell, and Ancient One of the Deep Forest. Cool. So we have another rare. Second Spell Rollers. What can we get? I'm going to get another one. Red Archery Girl, Reliable Guardian. Oh snap, we got a, we got a rare, uh, not rare, sorry, Super Rare Messenger of Peace. This card was so freaking annoying when I was playing before. This card was such a mmm to get around, but, you know, it was pretty cool. People did not let it die. And then we have Giant Rat for our rare, cool. Toll, Gia Power, or Gia Power, sorry. The Bell, and Wall of Shadow, Wall Shadow, sorry. So sweet. All right, next spell ruler. Oh, no, okay, great, another burger. Rising Earth Cutter, Dancer, Snail. Oh, Shining Angel, sweet. Rare Shining Angel, you can still use it today. Uh, Luminous, Luminous Spark, Chorus of Sanctuary, and Electric Snake. 
Ah, just so much nostalgic cards here. Oh, Star Goblin. Oh my god, I used to run this thing. I hold number two, I think. Air Cutter, Snake Venom, and oh, sweet. Hayuzan Ryu, I think, right? I can't say his name. Darkness, Bell. Okay, you're getting a little bit of uh, reprints here. All right. Alright, let me see. Upstart Goblin, still a sweet card. Flash Assailant, Stone Ogre, Groot, I think, Groat, Snake Fang, and, oh, sweet! Send you with a thousand hands. Now, that is a good card. Even today, I'll still run it. Uh, Jigen Bakudan, hated him. And Peacock. Okay, number two. Air Cutter, Snake. Minzar, Horn of the Unicorn, nice, and then Dark Zebra behind it, cool. That is sweet. It's another rare. Eternal Rest, oh my god. And Chorus of the Sanctuary. Our last uh, Spell Roller. And this one actually came in uh, the, the Legendary Collection, so let's see what this one's going to give me. Flash of Salient, Labyrinth Wall, Air Cutter, and UFO Turtle, cool. Another rare. Internal Rest, Spear, Foam. Okay. Now, last two packs for Legendary Collection 2. We have Feral Servant and the Legend uh, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Alright, Feral Servant, don't fail me now. Minor Goblin Official. Steel Ore Group number 2. Shadow of Eyes. And Goblin Attack Force. Super sweet. This thing was awesome. Oh my god, that thing is beautiful. Ultra rare. That is Awesome, you guys. 2300 attack points. When this card attack, it's changed to defense position at the end of the battle phase. This position cannot be changed during your next turn. That was the only bad part about him, but dude, a 23 beater was not easy to go around, and it was a level 4, which is sweet. And we have a prohibition for our rare. That is cool. Insect Barrier, I hated that. Armored Glass, Skull, Mariner, and a Gust. That was pretty sweet. And then, last but certainly not least, we have Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now, what can we get from this sweet, sweet pack? Mammoth Graveyard. Cheating ass card, but whatever. Monster Egg. That guy, number one. Mazaki, the Legendary Swordsman. And we have a rare. A rare is Gravadier Ghoul. Cool. Dark Energy. Green Reflection, number two. Violent Crystals, Sandstorm, no, uh, Sandstone, sorry. And then the Mammoth, okay, cool. Alright, so nothing too, too great, but still not bad. It was actually real nostalgia-wise, and then we still have our Spirit Warriors and our Dragons of Legend Unleashed. So I say we do this one first. Double-Edged Sword Technique, cool. The Six Shinobi... Grandmaster of the Six Samurai, Magical Musket, Fetish Deal, and oh sweet, we have a Secret Rare, sick, uh, Secret Six Samurai Fuma, that is freaking beautiful, the other thing is, look at how it shines you guys, that is sweet, now that that is a way to kick off an opening, Secret Rare, very nice, put this bad boy right here, and then, the one I've been waiting to open for a while. Dragons of Legend Unleashed. What can we pull? It's very small pack. Only five packs per, per... Five cards per pack, sorry. What can we get from this amazing thing? And I'm super stoked that we're going to get the new one. The new Dragons of Legend soon. So this is like a quick little sneak peek, kind of. It's an older set, but still. And we have Berserker Soul. Kirby Bandit. That is sweet. Flower Gathering. We have this is Flower Cardian. Flower Cardian Willow with with Gauss Kiefer, something like that. I don't know. And oh, oh my God! The this was a way to end this thing with a number monster. You guys, number forty-five, Crumble Logos, the Prophet of Demolition. That is so freaking sweet, you guys. Look at that thing. The way it freaking shines. That thing is beautiful. You guys already know, I love me some Xyz, love me some Xyz monsters. Then throw a number on top of that, that is just, I have no words for this thing. That is awesome. Can't wait to add it to my number binder. This thing looks freaking sweet. 
honestly, guys, that was not a bad opening at all. You know, we got a couple of things. You know, the Legendary Collection one was awesome. You know, it was huge nostalgia, especially now since uh, my last box opening was the uh, Legendary Duelist Season 1, which if you haven't looked at it, please do so because I think it was awesome. We got so many great pulls. And um, just a quick, real quick, the, the reason I'm doing these openings right now without my hat on is because I'm really considering getting her because this, all of this, you know, it's cool or whatever, but it's just too hot. It's way too hot, and I, I'm just tired of dealing with it. So I might get a haircut soon. I'm not too sure. I, I honestly, dude, I like it. You know, I've always had my hair long and short, long and short. Depends if you've seen any of the older videos. It, it varies sometimes, it's longer, sometimes short, whatever. But I think now, I think I'm most likely going to, I'm gonna cut this thing off. I, I can't deal with it anymore. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, like I said before, and um, let me know what you guys think. Any more recommendations would be awesome and. Uh, yeah, let me know if I should do another uh, Legendary Season uh, 1. Should I do another Target run? Maybe go to Walmart? You know, I don't know. Whatever you guys think. And uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, like I said again. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.